Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at examples of Z transform on finite signals. So, we are going to derive Z transforms of finite duration signals. So first let us look at an example. Now let us look at the first example given by x1 of n is going to be 3, 0, 0, 1, 0, 8, minus 1, 4. So this is a finite duration signal with 0 at this number 8. So n is equal to 0 here. Now the z transform x of z is given by the summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z power minus n. This is the definition. Now by using this sequence we can clearly see that the value will be n is equal to. So the 3 will be at minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So 3 will be at minus 5 and 4 is at 2. So n is from minus 5 to 2 x of n z power minus n. So by actually using the by using the actual values of x of n or given values of x1 of n we can uh, see that uh, the z transform x of x1 of z will be equal to x1 of minus 5 that is 3 multiplied by z power minus of minus 5 that is z power 5 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 into z power 2 that is 4 and 3 z power 4 z power 3 have coefficients 0 so we have z power 2 and then z power 1 has 0 coefficient and then 8 plus 8 uh, into z power 0 so it is still 8 and minus z power minus 1 and plus 4 times z power minus 2. So this is the z transform of the finite sequence given by x1 of n. And the corresponding ROC is given by the whole z plane excluding the origin and z equal to infinity. That is at z equal to infinity these values will be will diverge and at z equal to 0 these two values diverge. So uh, the ROC should not include z equal to 0 and z equal to infinity. So this is the ROC of this x1 of z. Now let us look at a, another example and another example x2 of n is given by 1 by 2 power n for the values between 0 and 5 and it is equal to 0 for all other values that is for n less than 0 and n greater than or equal to 6 uh, the function is 0 or the signal is 0. So within this window 0 to 5 the value is 1 by 2 power n therefore therefore x2 of z is given by summation from n is equal to 0 to 5 1 by 2 power n that is x2 of n z power minus n. So this is the z transform. Now by expanding this one we have at n equal to 0, uh, 1 by 2 power 0 is 1, so we have z power 0 plus n equal to 1, we have 1 by 2 power z power minus 1 plus 1 by 4, that is 2 square, z power minus 2 and so on, up to up to 1 by, 1 by 2 power 5, that is 32, z power mo minus 5. So this is the z transform, that is x2 of z is clearly equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 z inverse plus 1 by 2 square that is 4 z power minus 2 and so on up to 1 by 32 z power minus 5. That is the z transform corresponding to this signal. Now the ROC is again ROC will be the whole z plane excluding that is not including z equal to 0. Clearly at z equal to 0 these terms diverge so x2 of z should not in, uh, the ROC should not include z equal to 0 but it will be the whole z plane excluding the origin or z equal to 0. So to summarize we have looked at couple of examples illustrating how to compute the z transform of a finite duration signal. In the first case we have a numerical sequence of the signal uh, starting at minus 5 and ending at plus 2. So the summation will be from n equal to minus 5 to 2 x1 of n z power minus n and then upon simplification uh, we get a uh, we get a z transform that has a power of 5 2, minus 1 and minus 2 and the ROC is the whole z plane excluding z equal to 0 and infinity. 
for the second signal we have a power series that is 1 by 2 power n only within the window 0 to 5 and 0 everywhere else. So, x 2 of z is basically uh, this summation where we have the values uh, 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 square, 1 by 2 power cube and so on as the coefficients or the values corresponding to the uh, inverse z powers or therefore, x 2 of z is 1 plus 1 by 2 z inverse plus 1 by 2 square that is 1 by 4 z power minus 2 plus and so on up to 1 by 2 power 5 that is 1 by 32 multiplied by z power minus 5. So, this is the second z transform. So, the ROC for this z transform is the whole z plane excluding the origin that is z equal to 0. Thanks for watching.